Earlier this month, between Friday the 6th of November and Sunday the 8th of November, Islamic militants turned a village football pitch in northern Mozambique into an execution ground where they beheaded more than 50 people during three days of savage violence. Villagers who tried to flee were caught and taken to the sports ground where they were decapitated and chopped to pieces in a series of ferocious attacks in the Muslim-majority Cabo Delgado province. A young boy named Antonio spoke of what happened, saying, we saw the bags hanging in the trees. He was recalling what happened a few days earlier when he and others from the village of Quizanga returned to their homes after fleeing to the bush to escape a massacre. Then in great agitation, Antonio went on to explain that a lot of body parts were in the bags. The people were killed and their bodies were chopped up. They put them in bags and hung them up so that when we came back, we saw all the bags hanging from the trees. And in Nanjaba village, gunmen shouting Alua Akbar stormed into the community, setting homes alight, beheading villagers and abducting women. Northern Mozambique has been afflicted by Islamist extremist violence for the past three years now. And Christians, moderate Muslims, anyone else who rejects the jihadists' ideology is a target. Thousands of desperate people are on the move seeking safety. Some, like Antonio, have fled to the bush, others to Christian mission stations, others to small offshore islands, and still others have taken boats to Pemba, the provi provincial capital, 100 kilometers away. Barnabas Fund is already providing food for the displaced Christians, but prices in the area are rising because normal food deliveries have stopped. Few dare to visit because of the terrible violence there, so partners of Bar Barnabas Fund buy the food cheaply in Pemba and deliver it by boat. Um, Barnabas Fund were recommended to me by a sister in Christ at my local church and I looked into the charity a bit further and it was <clears throat> exactly what I've been looking for. They're, they're very transparent regarding where the funds go and they have a, a general fund where they're running costs come out of that fund which comes to about 12 percent and the rest of that general fund then gets given to projects and on top of that they have specific projects which you can look at on their website and um, of those in those projects 100 percent of the money goes directly to the project and barnabas fund work directly through local christians and structures and funnel the money and resources through there directly to where it needs to go. <clears throat> and they, they, they also they they focus on helping persecuted Christians because, like in many places in the world, Christians are persecuted and discriminated against anyway in their everyday life for their faith. And when emergency aid gets distributed to these areas. Um, often the locals discriminate against the Christians and exclude them from receiving the aid. So charities that focus on, on specifically on the on the Christians is important. Although I mean, other, others do some others do benefit from it, but it, they mostly aim at the Christians, try and help them. And I appreciate times are challenging currently in the West and. People are losing their jobs and there's much uncertainty about. However, there's there's still ways we can all help our brothers and sisters who are being persecuted around the world. We can all pray. Um, we, sh we should all pray for the worldwide body of Christ because prayer has real power and we can st start this off by praying together at the end of this video and encourage you brothers and sisters to keep keep the uh, persecuted church in your prayers and we can also raise awareness on um, like online social media and things and um, contacting local government officials writing them letters and things letting them know what's going on and what, what, what asking them what they plan to do to help in these areas and 
just sort of putting it to the front of their mind and um, and also stay tuned because I think I'll start doing more of these now I think it'd be more useful me doing these types of videos really I've been trying to find my way on this channel I think this kind of thing would be good like trying to help the persecuted church raising awareness and um, another way to help is to donate um, well I think Barnabas Fund's a great way to do that because like I say they put the funds directly where they need to go um, they're very transparent and perhaps you feel led to donate to them on a monthly basis or um, I know that the current state of the world funds are going to be needed more than ever and um, they give some costs on their website um, of, what, of what it costs to help um, these survivors of the violence in Mozambique I mean give whatever you can but um, they say 10 kilos of beans cost seven pounds 50 kilos of maize about 14 pounds um, so sorry that's seven pounds like nine dollars 14 pounds 18 dollars 50 kilos of rice is about 21 pounds so that's about 27 dollars 24 euros um, <clears throat> then they get the get these that food delivered by boat, which a trip on the boat costs about sixty pounds, which is eighty dollars or seventy euros. I'll put links below for the, um, for these where you can go to and donate if you feel led to do that. And um, any further articles and things I find on the issue, and um, so you can read up about it. And if you see any, let me know, and I'll add them to the add them below the video. I'd appreciate that. <clears throat> but yeah, if you care to join me. Um, we can uh, pray together for the saints in Mozambique. Heavenly Father, we lift up in prayer all of our brothers and sisters around the world who are suffering persecution for their faith. In particular, our brothers and sisters in Mozambique, our thoughts and prayers are with them. May the suffering they are enduring be a powerful testament to their faith. Give them strength to overcome, Lord. Comfort those who have lost loved ones and homes, heal their wounds, both physical and spiritual. Keep safe the people operating the boats that are delivering food to those in need in Mozambique. Open doors for food aid and any other aid that they require and keep the missionaries safe in, in this violent part of the world and command your heavenly angels to protect them and all of your people, Lord. Lord, shield and protect all those who take refuge in you. Fill them with the Holy Spirit boldness and encourage them to proclaim the gospel far and wide. We also pray that the Islamists who are carrying out these atrocities will turn from their wicked ways and come to know you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>